click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the Stefan reaction that is how we can prepare an aldehyde using an alkyl cyanide and now in this topic we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare an aldehyde using an alkyl cyanide but along with that of diisobutyl aluminum hydride. So what is the reaction behind this? So let us talk about that. So friends, now we are going to talk about that is how we can convert an alkyl cyanide to an aldehyde along with that of that how we can convert an ester into an aldehyde. So this is the two reactions that I am going to discuss about along with the general reaction. So let me discuss about this where we are using diisobutyl aluminum hydride. So let us discuss about those reactions and those reactions are. So talking about the first reaction that is when an alkyl cyanide that is RCN is been treated with diiso butyl aluminium hydride in presence of an acidic solution that is H3O plus as you know that is there are multiple bonds between carbon and nitrogen over here so that is the reason that we are using that is diisobutyl aluminium hydride so this is basically reducing agent so this will convert this cyanide group into an aldehyde group in presence of that is H3O plus so that is the reason that the product that we will form over here that is H it would be an aldehyde. So this is how basically we can prepare an aldehyde by converting an alkyl cyanide in presence of that is the reducing agent that is DIBALH that is diisobutyl aluminium hydride. So now let me discuss about the example also. Suppose if we consider an example where we are considering that is ethyl cyanide. And suppose if it undergoes a reaction along with that of that is the reducing agent like diisobutyl aluminium hydride along with that of the further that is obviously it will form a complex in between or as an intermediate that on further hydrolysis obviously it will form an aldehyde so that is what we are giving a condition of an acidic condition so that it will undergo a hydrolysis process and that is how we see the product that we could get over here is ch3 ch2 c double bond oh so the total number of carbon in this case is three so that's the reason that this product is being called as propenone so that is how this reaction is so now let me discuss about the another one where we are using that is diisobutyl aluminum hydride so that is what we are converting an ester into an aldehyde so let me discuss about the general reactions also so to convert an ester into an aldehyde it is very simple that is suppose if we consider an ester that is r c double bond o o r dash and suppose in this case it reacts with that is the reducing agent that is DIBALH that is diisobutyl aluminum hydride but the temperature that we should maintain over here is 195 Kelvin the reason behind that is because we are using a reducing agent and that is how basically it will convert this ester into an aldehyde so the aldehyde that will be formed over here it will be R C double bond OH if we increase the temperature or suppose if this reaction undergoes at a room temperature then there are chances that this aldehyde would be further reduced to an alcohol so to avoid that condition or to avoid that we are basically maintaining the temperature as 195 kelvin or at low temperature we are maintaining this reaction so let me discuss about another example so that is suppose if we are considering that is ch3 c double bond o o c2h5 it is called as ethyl acetate and suppose if that undergoes a reaction with that is DIBALH and that also at 195 Kelvin so obviously the product that we will form over here is CH3 C double bond OH that is nothing but ethyl so this is how we can convert an ester into an aldehyde by using the reducing agent and along with that obviously we have to sustain a condition where it undergoes that is acid hydrolysis so this is how the reaction proceeds and this is how we can get an aldehyde so in this process we are not obtaining a ketone we are only obtaining an aldehyde so this is what i want to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time so till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. thank you so much